Hey y'all, let's check out weirdos. Hey y'all, welcome to day 20 of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we're gonna be looking around weirdos. I don't even know what kind of what to call this theme of land. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. Y'all, so this is really nothing major at all. I simply just wanted to put an outfit together so that I could come and check this land out. So silver accessories, I do believe. The color here has completely thrown me off. Um, so yeah, this is the outfit. I'll go ahead and get a little shoe action. Just have on some little sneakers today because we're going to be doing some walking so let's go ahead and continue so i guess you could say this is like a intergalactic fun world type theme land i don't know this land is not tp friendly and i am in the shared environment so i'm very interested to see what this land has in store it seems very colorful even though um it does have like this red hue to it they insisted on being in um the shared environment so i definitely didn't have an issue with obliging today because i do feel like this is actually the best environment to view this land i don't feel like i could have picked a better lighting in my opinion so we'll go ahead and just kind of do like an overview this land does seem like it is about a, a sim in size it, it may be more than that it may be more than that I, I don't know but i really really love the colors so you see how it's just like very spacey so yeah i like it thus far so normally when i come to a land i'm very much so able to kind of gauge the type of land that it is with this one not so much but it definitely seems fun um it is a moderate sim so this would be a cool place um so far i feel like this would be a cool place to um bring the kitties and have them walk around and just kind of explore and just have fun with all the colors and all the sights and the sounds i love that it has like a um like some of the sounds kind of seem like if you're in like a game or something I really really liked it I love lands like this I love like colorful lands and just lands that are kind of out of the ordinary um a lot of times in second life we get those it's like the chairs are like alive a lot of times in second life we get the lands where it's like okay yeah these are lands that you can see in real life and people do a very good job at mimicking a lot of the things that we see in real life and second life but i do enjoy seeing lands like this where things are just a little bit out of the ordinary i feel like this is an awesome place to of course you guys know what i'm gonna say of course you can come here alone but i do feel like um this would be an awesome place to like take the kids um this would also be like an awesome place to like take some friends and hang out like a nice group activity um or a date it's really going to be good for any and every type of environment everything is so colorful and vivid and vibrant it does have like this little alien type feel to it especially when you pan out and you kind of feel like you're not in this world you're someplace else but it doesn't seem like a harmful type of someplace else like it doesn't seem like a dangerous type someplace else it feels very joyous it definitely has like a joyful type feel to it I love that they have um, pre-decorated spaces that you can go into that are going to give you a better, um, just kind of like a better outlook on the land. It does have like a, I always, I don't want to say that like a Chinese, Japanese, Korean type because I don't know which one it is, but it's one of those type feel. And much like many things in Second Life, when they do um, these type of themes, these are really the type of themes that I enjoy the most. I don't know if it's because when they have like, um, we'll say like a Japanese inspired um, theme, they tend to use such vibrant colors and I really, really like that. Everything is so rich and just full of um, color. And I really, really like that when it comes to this like specific theme. There are a lot of other themes 
that um, people do in Second Life that I like as well. But as you guys know, the Japanese um, theme, whether it be Japanese, Korean, um, Chinese, uh, Oriental, any of those themes, they're always super duper nice. I love how like this couch is like levitating. I love it. I really, really love it. So when I found this land, um, I put it on my list of places to go, as I always do with many lands that I decide to visit. And I kind of gauge um, what lands I'm going to view based on my time frame, to be totally honest. So like if I feel like when, when I come to the lands, I always pan out. I love these jewels. I'm saying more so now that people are going with the solid jewels as opposed to having them like kind of transparent. And I really feel like it does give it more of a realistic type of feel to it. It kind of gives it like that hard jewel rock type um, look to it. But like if I'm not if I don't have a lot of time to do a video, then um I guess this is I don't know what this is, like a little some type of game or something. If I don't have a lot of time to view a land, I will not pick the larger lands to view. I'll pick a land that to me seems like it's a little smaller so that I actually want to see what's over here before I go through there so that I'll be able to get through the land and I don't have to feel rushed. So now we're at day 20 of April Diamonds and I'm finally over the whole like rushing myself and things like that. I'm like, listen, and not so much rushing myself with seeing the lands, but like telling myself like, okay, you know, we're going to post a listen. We're going to, we're going to do 30 videos and, and it's going to, it's going to do what it has to do. I don't want to rush on anything but i definitely don't want to feel rushed and it's not you guys rushing me at all it's me putting those stipulations on myself so today um time was kind of escaping me and i was like i want to see this land but then i don't want to be taking all day to have to edit it or editing it and so I was like, I'm not going to do this land. Then I was like, you know what? Yeah, we are going to do this land because I've been wanting to do this land for the longest. So there are plenty of sitting spaces here. I like how beyond the arches, every space kind of has like its own little vibe going on. Like this has a very like Zen type feel to it. And I really, really like that. I love all of the colors. I just feel like when I come to spaces that are like super colorful like this, it all automatically gives me like a very cheerful vibe. And I really, really like that. I also noticed that um, when it comes to technology in real life, um, China is very much so above all in my opinion when it comes to um all things technology so when i'm seeing this land and i'm seeing that it does have like a chinese type theme to it is very fitting because i feel like if there would be any place that would look like this in the future it would be china because china in my opinion they're very much so they're, they're 10 steps ahead in my opinion when it comes to technology not that people can't catch up but you got to get on a good foot now if you really want to so they have like the little spaceman let's see if i can catch them so i can see a lot of dust kicking up i love this it's so fun I don't know if they have a lot of things that are interactive. They probably do, but I just haven't checked anything out. This is a walkie type Sam, it seems. Can I walk up here? I don't think so. This definitely seems more of like a walk and look type Sam, as opposed to like a lot of different activities that you can do here. And that's fine. That's fine. I always feel like when you come to lands like this, sometimes you'll find lands where they'll have a lot of different activities for you to be able to um, do. But then sometimes you'll come to lands where they're just really, really nice, pretty things to see. And this is one of those lands thus far. This seems definitely like it's going to be a land that has a lot of pretty things to see. And boy, oh boy, do they have a lot of pretty things to see. They did a lot on this land. Just all of this colorful groundwork in itself 
This took a lot of effort to be able to put this stuff down and to find the right lighting for it and everything, you know. I'm not gonna boast on these creators. No, yes, I am. Amazing. These creators are amazing. I'm, I don't feel like I'm, there'll ever be a video where I won't have anything to say about the creators in Second Life because they're absolutely amazing. I just feel like to go out your way to bring things like this to us is beyond amazing. It's beyond amazing. And I'm also, I'm always so thankful when they do that just to give us new spaces to be able to explore i love when i come to lands that are out of the ordinary i also love lands that are like okay well this is what i expect it to be i love all different types of lands in second life because they all have their own little flair they all have like the beauty that they they all have like an individual beauty that they bring and i really really like this can you click on that oh you can turn the light on and off i love all the sights and all the different sounds that they have everything is just so beautiful here i'm really glad that they insisted on using the shared environment because it definitely brings everything together i really just don't feel like if i would have used a different lighting that it would have had this type of effect this is beautiful absolutely beautiful i like that there's plenty of space where you can pan out you get to see everything it's super pretty here i love this i love all the jewels and the little froggy with the little decorations on its back i love it i love that you can walk in here a little bit and it has like the little water sounds i really really like this i really really like this I don't know, can we go deep in here? Is it gonna drop me down? Is it gonna let me walk across? It looks like it kind of drops down right here. So I don't know, I don't wanna go all the way into it. I just kind of wanted a better look. It's so pretty. I love the sounds. Look at this sky. It's one of those things where it's like, is this what's going on on those other planets that y'all go to and claim? that there's no life, there's no nothing. Cause y'all, y'all go up there an awful lot for it to be nothing. It's like, what if it's like this? I always look at stuff like this and I'm like, where's this coming from? Are you making this up or is this something that you've seen before? But this is really pretty, really very pretty. Okay, so it seems like the teleport just kind of takes us around to the other options that they have as far as the different destinations that we can go to but we walked the way so don't really need the um teleporters at this point in time they do have a couple other spaces that we could look into is this a hot dog is this like a recording studio it's like a radio studio i love their setup in here it's super nice So I don't know if Second Life is, um, if they're about to do like a new update or something, but they were acting real wonky yesterday My with my lighting. Oh, this is nice. It's like a little restaurant, like a little outer space galactic sushi restaurant. My um, lighting options were crazy yesterday. Like they weren't loading. And then I kept having to restart and things like that. I know everybody was having an issue with the hovering. This looks so yummy. Look at this, y'all. This looks so yummy. Mm -mm -mm. And I know where they got this. I've been debating on even getting this set because I'm like, <sighs> I always see things that I love in Second Life. And then I'm like, should I get it? Because am I going to use it? And I'm like, yeah, you're going to use it. You are. You're going to use it. What's on this table? I really like this. See, I love when I am pleasantly surprised. I've been pleasantly surprised by every single land that I have gone to um, since I have just been doing like 
blind tours, I guess you can call them, where all I do is I pan out and then I um, just check out the land to make sure that it's going to be large enough to view. And then I just go view the land. And I have been pleasantly surprised every single time. When I tell you every single time, I mean every single time. I really love, I love food in Second Life. I really do. I love the how they texture all the foods in Second Life. Oh, I love this table. You see that gloss? Mm-hmm. Look at this sushi. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I wish they had like a, um, I know they have like places where you can go and like buy food, but if they had like a land where it was just like all restaurants and then you could go in and just like interact with everything and see all of the food that they have, that would be amazing. I would love that place. I love the colors in here. Everything is so pretty. So, so very pretty. There are a lot of little intricate things that you could view here. And I don't feel like you would ever, ever, ever be bored. I love this fountain. Such a nice focal point. It looks like a spaceship. I love it. It's so magical here. It's like people in Second Life, they are really beginning to like, really, really think out of the box when it comes to their um, creations and things like that. And I'm so appreciative of it. Everything is just so beautiful. So y'all, they have a bridge and I'm trying to see if I can get up there. Now remember this. So is this like an elevator? Let me see, can I press the up button? Here I was, I'm thinking that this is some place that like a, a little fight pit, it's an elevator. How did I miss that? Yay, so we'll take the elevator up. Where we wanna go, we wanna go to, two. When I got here, I saw the bridge and I was like, oh, I wonder if I can get up there because I know sometimes they'll have it as like a decoration, but you really can. And I love this. It's such a beautiful overlook. Oh, look at this. I love these flowers. Everything is so shiny and so beautiful. Oh, you guys, look at this. Look at this. This is a dream. It's so freaking pretty here. Y'all, so this land was so amazing to look at. There's still much more to see and do at Weirdos. The landmark to this place will be in the description box below. I really hope you guys enjoy this video just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.